Hey guys, it's Katie from Life with Fultons. And Eric and I today, our, our, Eric and I are putting in the gate opener. So he's been working on um, leveling out the gate because it was really unlevel. Okay, so this was the side that was really uneven. He had to drill new holes. Um, and try to kind of straighten out that post a little bit. Um, yeah, so he's dug the line underneath the gate for stuff. And now we are, now we're just pulling off this wire that's on the fence. We will probably replace it, but it's pretty beat up. If you can see, it's all, all messed up. Putting together the bracket that goes on the big post. So the next, we have to decide which post we're going to put it on. Take a level and mark across. Because that's going to give you where your, your bracket goes. So this line here and this line here. Okay, so the fully open position is where you're going to want it. So from where the gate is fully open, you want a minimum of four and a half inches of clearance. So I'm going to have to go to this outside hole. So there I got six inches. So next we have to drill nine sixteenths holes all the way through. So we got to mark them, drill them, and then anchor the bracket to where it needs to go. In my unboxing, there's one with 30 foot, but I think I decided we're gonna put the solar panel control panel on this side over here, right behind Katie, because the tree's right there. So you wanna make sure that you put the right one on the right side. Ghost controls. I did a lot of research between Mighty Mule and ghost controls, and in the end, I went with ghost controls. I do have a lockable clevis pin for this. That's something I bought extra, but I don't have it out here with me. So for this one, it looks like it's a 13 millimeter. And that, to fasten it to the gate, was 5 eighths. one installed this is gonna be solely ran off of solar <laughs> and uh, we're gonna put the locking clevis on this side over here so if by chance snow covered it the battery went dead to open and close your gate all you have to do is pull the pin This is day two of the gate installation. We decided to fast forward through the second gate because it's the same installation process as the first. Upon installation of the solar panel, we found that the negative and the positive wire both had broken jackets going into the solar panel. 
So I called Amazon and they refunded the total price of the solar panel. Ghost Control sends you this cool mini screwdriver. got this divider so you can put a bigger battery in. So we'll hook up this first. This goes into the control box over here. This is your power source to your battery. Then we'll go grab the battery box. Now I'm just running the wires from each gate opener to the control box. Okay, so I got all the wires ran up in. So you gotta choose which gate you want to be your first operator and your second operator. So my primary operator, first operator is gonna be the far gate. So we've got all the wires up in the box terminated. Terminated. So there's a switch down here that you turn on. It's where you want it. And then you hold the middle set button. And it'll beep. Very extremely loudly. And then you can go to your second gate. Get it where you want it. And then, we're going to set the auto close feature for 35 seconds. Uh, so you hold this button and right here it starts blinking. And then each blink is a second. So I got my timer set. Probably can't see that at all. Oh, there we go. But when the timer goes off, I'll hit that button again. <laughs> okay, to sum this project up, to start, I had to reinforce this post, and then I poured concrete into that post. Keypad set up, but we don't have C batteries, so. <laughs> so we'll have to program that we'll later. Program that later. We got our other keypad, no C batteries. We put the signs in front of the wires 
So you can't tell the control box is exactly right there. Got our solar panel, our control box. Put a lock on it so somebody just can't come in and open the gate manually. We hung the sign kind of in front of some of these cords. We got the battery box. We screwed the, the strap in so somebody just can't come up and yank the battery away. We put locks on the clevises. And yeah, that's, that's our gate.